いらっしゃいませ。Welcome back to <laughs> In today's video, we're going to talk about a really amazing kitty called Pooley. And Pooley, oh, just so beautiful, looks a little bit like you. Yes, Pooley was a great tabby with dark stripes. Yes, and kind of little dark spots, kind of. Yes, she received service medals in 1959. She was the ship's cat who served on the USS Fremont. And she,、um, the USS Fremont, was an attack, transport, and command ship in the Pacific during World War II. <laughs> yes, her Pooley was a very cool kitty who was born on Pearl Harbor on the 4th of July in the year 1944. Well, I have a brother who was born that day many years later. Yes, so he shares another birthday with the kitty and these cute little wings. Such cute little wings. <laughs> Pooley's name actually comes from. From the name Princess Papule. Yes, there was a crewman named James Lynch who had brought her aboard. Yes, and she was there during some of the fiercest fighting. Pooley did indeed witness some of the fiercest Pacific fighting during World War II, including the invasions of Saigon, Palau, Leyte. And Iwo Jima. She was even called a shellback when she, as all sailors are called, crossed the equator for the first time. Yeah! <laughs> yes, she was called a ship's cat, was officially on the books. Yes, she had her own kitty appointed battle station as well that we'll talk about. She was given her own hammock, she was given her own kit. I think that's pretty cool. So, that alarm that crawls for battle is very startling, and it startled her too. And what did the kitty do? Like any smart kitty, she settled into the mail room and even into a mail bag any time that the battle station alarm went off. And she stayed there until the battle ended. I don't blame her. <laughs> she was given three. Campaign service ribbons and four battle stars. Wow! She was given her own uniform, and even years ago, after she had retired, she could still fit the uniform and would still be able to display her battle stars and ribbons. It's just amazing. And by the time she was 15 years old, She was actually deaf. Well, being around all those battle cannons, I can sure understand why. Yeah. I'm glad that you are here. And I'm really happy that she actually got to retire and she didn't like die in a ship being blown up or getting overboard or anything like that. She had a normal sailor's retirement. And I think that's a lot better. Well, thank you all so very much for watching this video today. If you like the content of our videos, Don't forget to take those paws and paw the like button. You 
can paw the subscription button? Well, yes, he sleeps. And you can paw the notification bell. Sorry about that, Yuffie. <laughs> I think the bell got the kitty a little bit. So that you can see all of Yuffie Dad's videos. Well, thank you all so very much. And we look forward to seeing you. Hey. <laughs>